Tom Wesley joins us. Tom, the Eagles are flying high again. Well, let's not get carried away. Obviously, we desperately need to win there. Um, but as I've, I've, we just spoke about in the changing room, you know, we've been a bit unlucky in some of the other games. Our fielding's probably let us down. Uh, we lost off the last ball against Somerset. So, you know, things could have easily been very different. But unfortunately, we're in a tough position. And that was a must-win game. And, and fortunately, we came through and won it. Indeed. You've recovered so well from your broken thumb. Three <laughs> matches, three half centuries. This one particularly important, isn't it? it yeah, I fashion mean, the win. Exactly, obviously. Yeah. It's obviously nice to score runs, but it doesn't really mean as much unless, unless obviously, the team win. Um, from a personal point of view, I've faced quite a lot of balls in these last three games. It'd be, it'd be nice to have scored even more runs, but um, that's not been the case. So let's try and focus on positives and win for Essex, and hopefully that can be a springboard onto some more T20 wins, back-to-back -back wins, and maybe take this momentum into the championship game against Northampton. Indeed. That partnership of yours with Ravi was a match-defining match uh, partnership there. Um, Surrey would have had some encouragement after getting rid of the two openers. You and Ravi gradually pulled things around and swung the initiative back to Essex. I think there was 42 uh, successive deliveries that you and Ravi scored off of um, singles, twos, oh, getting the fours. Yeah. That, that, yeah, you know, that's so important in 2020, isn't it, just to lift the momentum yeah, that way? Yeah, I mean, obviously I didn't know that that was the, the stat, but that's <laughs> why you're here. Um, no, it was brilliant batting with Ravi, obviously. He's played so many T20s around the world and played so much international cricket. You know, he's a very calm influence out there. Um, I think it, you know, it would have been probably ch challenging if one of us got out. Um, but, you know, we had to be fairly aggressive. It was nice to obviously have a smaller boundary that we could target, um, but you know we, we didn't we didn't get into too much detail out there. We were just trying to be positive, score as as quickly as we possibly could, and take it as deep as we possibly could. I think if we had wickets in hand, we knew we'd probably be able to get over the line with the likes of Tendo, Fozzy, Napes to come in. Um, so I think a lot of the credit should go to Ravi the way he, um, you know, I think from went from 20 to 50, you know, he, he really accelerated and the rate never really got above tens, which was uh, something that we spoke about. Um, I think if one of us got out, that's what we were worried about, you know, losing wickets at, like Surrey did through their their um, their innings, I think sort of stemmed their run rate. Obviously, Zaffa played a brilliant knock at the end there to smash those sixes off Napes. Um, but we were really conscious not to lose too many wickets through that innings because it's a big ground, it was a good wicket, so wickets in hand, we could take those extra risks and hopefully get us over the line. Yeah, before all that, you did a tidy sp a spell of bowling yeah. as well, didn't you? Uh, first first over, a wicket, it's yeah, a great, it's a great so start for everybody. Rarity, that, isn't isn't it? It? Yeah. <laughs> Normally I just come on and just try and get tucked to the leg side, but <laughs> to get a wicket first over was uh, something I'm not too familiar with. But <laughs> it was nice actually bowling at a ground that isn't Chelmsford because, you know, as I found out last week, you bowl one bad ball when it gets hit miles at Chelmsford, small ground. So, you know, it's fortunate to take the bottom end, bowl into the big boundary and, you know, get a few wickets as well. So yeah. I good. think you're being a bit modest, though. I mean, you've, you have no, bowled no, the I first you have <laughs> bowled the first over on a number of occasions yeah. and off, often only go for two or three runs, which, you know, is, is a great start, isn't it, when yeah, you're in I the field? sometimes that's the best over to bowl because, obviously, batters... You know they don't go necessarily from ball one, and they uh, you know want to have a little bit of a look and get themselves off the mark. So it's quite a nice over to bowl sometimes. But obviously picking up the wicket was an added bonus because obviously Davis is quite a destructive batter and he's been in some tremendous form this season. So you know I thought I think the bowl all the bowlers bowled well. I mean even even Napes he he struggled with that last over, but that that's the nature of 2020 cricket. You know every someone's going to go for three four sixes from time to time. But I think we stuck together as a unit. We held our catches and. Um, and we fielded, we fielded well. We, we stuck together as a team, and I think that's what got us over the line. Yeah, great to get that win. Won't get carried away, but um, you know, hopefully that will be the basis of a, of a decent little run. It's quite an interesting division, this South group, isn't it? Everybody seems to be capable of beating everybody yeah. else. So, uh, you, you know, you just keep chipping away at the wins and see where that takes us. Yeah, exactly. I mean, 2020 cricket, if you win two, three games in a row, all of a sudden you're, you're back up there, top, top four. Um, and with the sort of side, I mean, you, you can name the players in the change room. We can we can go on a run of like last year where we won seven, eight games in a row, and had qualified before, you know, before we even had to complete our last two matches. So there's no reason why we can't do that again. Um, but like you said, it's a very strong division. Any team can beat anyone. We just have to keep improving, uh, keep improving on our basics, keep improving on our fielding, and you know, I have no doubt that we will be up there by the end of the um, campaign. Indeed. Tom, well played. Thanks Cheers, for talking thank to you. us. Cheers. Cheers.